controlled by one people. A world where the internet isn't free, a world where books and music are held in the government, the government takes control of everything. That is what the good republic is. It is a place where everything is controlled by a unitarian system in which no one can change, can defer from the norm. Because without the norm, there is no help. Now that we've covered that, everything ha that happened here within the past six years occurred with one step. That step was the assassination of my wife. Karen was on a plane to Washington to meet with her grandfather. At which point, an assassin hidden on the plane killed her. My one of her one of my assistants and destroyed the guards and destroyed the plane. And he is currently at the V. So this area is not very safe. But it's all we have. Now, one of our main problems around here is we've got all these secret police in every corner. I would not be surprised if there was a sniper on me right now. But, this looks deserted. This used to, before the takeover, the coup, this place was always bustling, always been, there were people moving in and out daily. Yet now, there's no one here except for me. I do, of course. A few cars moving in and out every a little while, but not. Decided that it'd be a good idea to protect the, the to protect the people who are against going against the government. You know, now, the problem with that is, my brother-in-law Lloyd came and got me and my daughter Sophie. At that time, she was eight. And brought us to a safer location, which we from which where we planned our sort of quiet resistance against the government. You know. This kind of stuff happened in churches and in backyards all along, all around America. And the only, but the main issue was, and still remains to this day, that there aren't that many of us. It's only a few thousand or so, whereas the government has an army of millions of the rising far as And finally, we, come, we came to this place, this mountain country where we had to sort of live on our own, sort of outside of society. That's protection. That's what we had to do. That's not what we were looking at. That's what we had to do. And now, uh, it's been almost 10 years since the main coup happened. We've got a little issue now. The 
government knows where we are. And no matter where we move, they're not five or ten seconds behind us. Our only hope is in armed resistance. Now, we know we're outnumbered, we know we're outgunned. Outclassed in almost every way. But, we're still going to fight. Even if we do die today, our story will live on through tomorrow and other people will learn of our success of, of existing against outside of government control. Something the government's been trying to stop.